We all know that action is quicker than reaction. Even if you're the fastest gunfighter in the West, it doesn't matter. When you're in a gunfight, if somebody has a drop on you or they're closing the gap on you and you try to draw your gun static, you're probably going to be behind the power curve most likely. And this is why we don't want to be just fast with our draw. We don't want to be just fast with our reloads and all that other stuff. We also want to be fast with our body. And that's why we practice moving off line of attack. Now, we can, of course, do that without ammo, without a gun. Uh, we could do it in our yards, our living rooms, and try to practice these simple movements, left, right, forward, rear, or start adding in obliques. We want to do that to break the mindset of, of being in one place where I was in the middle of a gunfight. And there's a lot of people that subscribe, specifically nowadays, I'm seeing things out there where people say, own that space and fight from that space, and I think that's horseshit. And I think it'll get you killed quicker than a bullet. So this is why we got to move, because as we know, in a constantly moving, 360 degree dynamic tactical environment, you're probably not going to stay still. So we want to get you sucked up uh, on a vehicle when you need to, and then we want to get you off of it when you need to, just like a wall or moving inside your house or whatever. So I want to give you a quick example, guys, with this moving target back here of what a simple offline of attack looks like. Okay, so it looks just like this. Hey, stop. Stop. Show me your hands. As you can see, I'm just simply moving to a position to shoot. And then if you can look at it from a, a deeper tactical perspective, I'm looking at body mechanics, not just of myself, but also him. So if he's turning outboard, I decided to go left because he's turning right. So I'm staying outside his hip line because I don't want to get inside those hips. Just like if you're in martial arts, you know what I'm talking about because now he can't get that base and that angle on me. So that's where I would choose to go that way, or I would choose to go right, or I choose to go back or forward depending on the tactical environment. So guys, don't ever be static if you don't need to. Okay, that's the key. If you need to stay static, absolutely. Own that space and fight. But if you don't, get off line of attack, guys. I'm Travis Haley. Stay sharp. Be safe. Thanks for joining me.